Hello and welcome Kingdom Citizens. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. In this video, we're gonna be discussing trust-owned life insurance, totally for short. We're gonna be discussing how we can come together as a community, as a kingdom commonwealth, syndicate our cash flows together to acquire a whole life insurance policy where we can grow our money tax-free, leverage it tax-free, and produce tax-free cash flows via a royalty sharing covenant. So with that being said, let's address our attention to the whiteboard. Here's an example of us using Mass Mutual as our insurance company, funding a policy at $100,000 a year, where we have 10% of our principal dollars going to premium, which is our cost of whole life insurance, and the other 90,000 goes to what is called PUA, Paid Up Additions Rider, which refers to your cash value. That 90,000 is going to pay for a term life insurance rider, which decreases your insurance expense. So instead of allocating a bunch of money towards your whole life insurance costs, we actually minimize that as low as the insurance company will allow us. And what we lose in death benefit on the permanent side, we make up for on the term side. So we have this term rider that we use in mass mutual terms. It's called a LISSER and a ALER. Stands for Life Insurance Supplemental Rider, Additional Life Insurance Rider. So ALER, LISSER. Those two together covers your term insurance expense and then what the rest of the money will be going into your cash values, which is what we as the ICOVestors can use to then acquire some cash flowing vehicles. With that being said, we're putting this policy on a 35 year old male. Okay. And the death benefit that we would receive would be $1.5 million, just under 1.6. Our starting cash value day one would be $89,937, roughly estimate based on age, health, insurance, and finances. We'll, we'll get that final number, but this is about as accurate as we can get when we're using uh, illustrations. This is a 10 pay policy, which simply means that it is designed to simply pay for the policy $100,000 a year for 10 years. That is what it is designed to do. Now, before we actually commit to a design, we want to know exactly how long we want to fund that policy for. The better we have an idea on how long and how much we want to fund total, the, the better the policy design will be from day one. So just understand that we can customize this however we want. Okay, We can put in as little as we want or as much as we want, as long as we have a really good idea in the beginning before we commit that's just going to make the policy perform that much better so moving right along with that being said being that it's a 10 pay hundred thousand a year the max we would pay in is a million dollars you would have access to the cash value within 10 business days of signing the policy so after you sign the contract and you fund it you would have access to borrow from the cash value within 10 business days of the first year, which is great. And you can borrow roughly up to about 90% of what's available in cash value at an interest rate of roughly 3%. Okay. Sometimes the interest rate can be a little higher. And again, it just depends on how we design the policy with mass mutual. They have a few different products. This is a standard 10 pay product. Mass mutual is well known for their 10 pay products. So they they're really, really good, and the rate is 3% on their on their 10 pay policies. So some additional facts is the policy is pretty flexible. You can add more funds or less funds on a year-to-year -year basis, right? So if we're coming short on pledges, we can adjust that, right? So let's say year one, we come in strong, 100K. In year two, 100K. Year three, we have a maybe a slow year. Maybe some people didn't pledge what they committed to, we can adjust that amount to say 80K or 70K, right? And then come the following year, let's say we have an awesome year where now we're looking at, say, hey, Denzel, can we put in a little more money? Absolutely. With that mech space that you did not use the previous year rolls over 
to the following year. So we can pay in 130,000, 140,000, right? Depending on how much we funded that previous year. So for example, let's say year one, 100K. Year two, 100K. Year three, we only put in 60. That means we have $40,000 of unused mech space that we did not take advantage of in that year. So come the next year, let's say pledges increased, everybody did what they said and above and beyond, so we can adjust the policy the following year to put in $140,000. 100K for the, for the next year, 40K for the previous year, and that would be an unscheduled PUA payment of that 40K. And you get right back on track to the, the goal number, in this example would be $1 million. Now, once you are done funding the policy, you can do what's called a reduce paid up, which literally eliminates the $10,000 base premium and the term insurance costs. Goes completely to zero. After 10 years, you put in $1 million in principal and you'll have more than that in cash value readily available for you to use. And then no costs whatsoever after the 10th year. If you did this option, this is an option. You don't have to do it, it's an option. Once you exercise it, you cannot go back. So that's the only downside. If you do a reduced paid up, you can't go back, okay? That means you locked it up. It means you can't add in any more principal dollars into the policy. You'll have a tax-free increasing line of credit at your disposal growing at a guaranteed compounded dividend rate by the insurance company, right? So it reduces your costs and increases your internal rate of return, which is nice, all right? So the strategy here is how do we come together and come up with 100 grand? 100 grand seems like a lot of money, but when you come together as a community, say 35 people, just 35 people, divide that by 100 grand, that's only $2,857.14 a year. Divide that by 12, it's 238 bucks. Most people spend that on subscriptions. Most people spend that on cable alone. Imagine getting rid of your cable bill for say three to four months to help you come up with the pledges if you're in that type of a situation. Or the other easy answer is increase your income, get a promotion, gain more responsibilities where you work, increase your cash flow, pay off some debts, right? Redirect cash flow. So just 35 people alone would only require $238 a month, $2,800 a year, times that by 10, that's only 28 grand over a 10 year period that one person did, times that by 35, to syndicate a million dollars, which would grow tax-free. And that death benefit, by the way, is also increasing along with the cash value. It stays ahead of the cash value, right? So it, so it does not become a mech, all right? Which is very important. Now, what if we had 50 people? 50 people is only, you only required to pay uh, pledge $166 a month, roughly two grand a year. Look at that. Now we at iCovest, we're more than 50 strong. I know that, I'm just getting started. So I know we're more than 50 strong. There's people that are making six figures. There's people that are making high five figures. There's people that can do 10K a year. That's already 10% of 100. I only need to come up with another 90. So if we can find 50 people willing to give in a neighborhood of $150 to $250 per month, there you go. There's your 100 grand each and every year. If we can find people cash flowing at least $1,400 a month and they only pledge 15% of their $1,400, that's $210. Somebody cash flowing two grand a month only has to really give 10%, 200 bucks if we have 50 people, right? So this is very doable, guys. This is totally, this is one of our leveraging options. And here's a simple example. By year four, the policy breaks even, right? So you pay in 100, 100, 100, 100, 400,000 in principal. You'd have roughly a little over 400,000 in cash value that we as a community can leverage, borrow against at the low, simple interest rate of 3% and go create arbitrage, cash flow arbitrage, tax-free, going back to your IVA accounts. Interesting, right? So that is a quick example of how Tolly works. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm your personal finance geek here at IcoVest, and I'm happy to be your fellow Kingdom citizen. God bless and have a wonderful day.